Over to the other camp, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has upped his ante to counter his political rival's rising popularity and swelling election war chest. In response to Harris's ad, the Trump campaign said that it will launch $10 million advertising thrust in the key battleground states. And this is the biggest ad buy from the Red Camp since the month of January. While official campaign funding has a cap on advertising funds, private players with no legal limit on donations have been shelling out millions too. For Trump's presidential campaign, MAGA, a super PAC or political action committee supporting Trump, has also kicked off a parallel and blitz worth $32 million in three battleground states. The new ads are aimed at criticizing Harris expectedly. While the campaign has upped its ante to counter Kamala Harris's popularity wave, Trump himself has his hands full, defending his running mate. Just on Monday, the Republican leader defended J.D. Vance after his past remark of childless cat ladies aimed at Harris and other Democrats went viral and drew massive criticism. Backing his number two during an interview, Trump said that Vance, who had a tough upbringing in Ohio, was simply trying to show how much he values family life. But outrageous labels and smear campaigns appear to be Vance's speciality as much as they are Trump's. While addressing a joint rally with Trump, the vice presidential candidate slammed Harris on illegal immigration in America. But in his speech, he referred to migrants as illegal aliens, just like Trump. Kamala Harris is directly responsible for the worst border crisis in this nation's history. On her watch, more than 10 million illegal aliens have invaded our country, and it wasn't by accident, it was by design. Creating this flood of illegal immigration is the purpose of the ultra-liberal immigration policies. And to take this further, John Potts is joining us live from Boston. He's the professor of political science at Northeastern University. Professor Potts, good to have you on Beyond again. Thank you for joining us. Let me talk to you about Democrats first. It seems like Kamala Harris has now zeroed down on three men from three different swing states. What do you think Kamala Harris is looking for in her vice presidential pick? Well, I think she is looking for someone who can carry some of those swing states because that's very critical. You know, people refer to Minnesota as a swing state now. I don't know that that's really quite accurate. Minnesota has gone Democratic for, for decades, uh, but certainly Pennsylvania, where Governor Shapiro is, and uh, Arizona, those are the true, those are swing states um, historically and certainly were in the 2020 election. So, you know, my sense is that those would be the most important and perhaps, uh, you know, Senator Kelly uh, has a has a very strong record, you know, military record, an astronaut. Um, is, uh, so I think he's a potentially a, a top choice there, but we will see. Right. Professor, speaking of Donald Trump, uh, what is your assessment of J.D. Vance? Do you think he brings more waters or more troubles for Donald Trump? Well, we're we're wondering that right now. You're, you're right. He, you know, historically, um, vice presidential candidates, vice presidents in general, um, have often uh, had that responsibility of kind of hitting low, if you will, or making those uh, more pointed, critical arguments. And the and the presidential candidate can kind of speak at a higher level. Uh, Trump doesn't particularly do that, uh, but Vance is certainly taking on that role. Um, and the, the reference you made to cat ladies and uh, the comment that he made there um, is kind of consistent with his approach. And it's been one that, uh, you know, with the cat ladies in particular, kind of the notion of protecting the traditional family, uh, which is very important in a, a kind of Republican context. All right, Professor, thank you so much for joining us on Beyond and getting us your insights. Okay, thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.